The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. They play faked Elliott. Now Prescott dancing to his left. Going deep here for Bryant. Got man, it's caught at the six-yard line. A big play here for the Cowboys. 53 yards. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw. A free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. And he'll put it through to make it 7 nothing Steelers. Makes the score. Steelers 7. Cowboys nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken just inside the 10. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the pick six, and they decent field position of throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. They told, him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Here's Prescott. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And now it's second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 47. Prescott off play action. And that's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Play fake. Here's Prescott. 
Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well, and they took the shot downfield. They were more than prepared for that one. Deion Sanders, the one to bring him down. On second and nine, Roethlisberger flushed out right. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Here's Roethlisberger. Going to Woods, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. Jair Alexander. Let's go. Let's go. Intercepted. The Cowboys take over first and ten. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Got a man, it's Harold Carmichael. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Play action now, Prescott. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll pull it down. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Yeah, not much there that time, and I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away, and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the six-yard line. On play action, Prescott sliding out of the pocket. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. And not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, they just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. And he's going to get this up to the 24-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. It's a gain of 20. First down, Steelers. Now a give running left. It's Bettis. Knocks him over. And some room to maneuver. And now look at him go. 20, 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Touchdown. Jerome Bettis, 76 yards. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. At their own 35-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure and to come away with nothing. 
That's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Off the play fake, Prescott. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's gonna go down. The sack there by J.J. Watt. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, and he's got Ezekiel Elliott. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. 15 yards and leads to third down. Prescott now from the 50. He completes it to Bryan. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. At the 32-yard line. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Des Bryant, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. He was covered by Jamal Adams. Prescott yet again. The Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Prescott to throw on four. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Grant Delpit. Nope, and he's today. able to get it back to right around the 27. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments. Yeah, yeah, the backup may see some time. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Now Roethlisberger. That's complete to Bettis. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And Boswell's kick is good. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 the Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive they built a good first half lead now they have a chance to add on to it and what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively 
A run right side. It's Bettis. A second pin has fallen. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second and six. Now it's Roethlisberger. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Jerome Bettis 